And welcome everyone, thank you very much for joining me today on my latest breaking news story. We've got the results and the polls and the, the voting has been concluded and Messi has won his sixth Ballon d'Or. That's absolutely staggering number. Virginia Wijnaldum finished 26th, joined with Karim Benzema. Trent finished 19th, Bobby Firmino 17th, Alisson won, came 7th and he won the, the prestigious very first Yashin Trophy anyway, so hats off to, to Alisson anyway. What a purchase from Jurgen Klopp uh, and Michael Edwards. Salah come fifth as well, but it, it's great that, that Manny and Salah are very much getting recognised as well as, as our lads anyway. From how far we've come over the last couple of years anyway, we would have said you've got at least seven uh, Liverpool players in the top 30 at a Ballon d'Or nominations list uh, and did finish as high, as, high up as they have. I tell you what, I'd be, I would have absolutely bit your hand off anyway. But it's just huge credit to to Jurgen Klopp and and Michael Edwards and the recruitment and and, and more or less to the players anyway. So it's just come up that Sergio Mane has finished fourth anyway. I I felt he should have finished ahead of Ronaldo, regardless. Trying to not be biased anyway, but Ronaldo didn't have the best of seasons last year anyway. But yeah, Mane's come fourth, Ronaldo's come third, and Virgil Van Dijk is coming up. Second uh, runner up to Lionel Messi, anyway. Everyone, I'll just read out a couple of numbers for Lionel Messi. He should have had his 10th, 10th Ballon d'Or at this minute because uh, I tell you what, I need to go and watch him live in in a game because uh, it's got to be on my bucket list. Everyone, let me know if you've seen Leo play in, in real life, anyway. But he's an absolute phenomenon, and I don't think we'll, 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 we'll look back on that moment when he does retire and, and how good of a player he was. Just quick n- numbers on, in terms of line Leo's season last year. 53 games, 45 goals, 17 assists, the most Ballon d'Or wins ever. And Ronaldo, if you weren't away, didn't turn up to the ceremony tonight anyway. You, you can just you can just he- hear and taste the, the saltiness from the Portuguese Juventus player anyway. He scored 40 plus goals for the 11th year in a row, that's from Leo, scored his 50th free kick of his career and the first ever to score in 15 consecutive UEFA Champions League seasons. He's an absolute phenomenon, everyone, but talking about Virgil van Dijk as well, really, what an absolute sign and what a player. We, he doesn't need accolades to really to prove to the world that he's one of the best defenders anyway, but it's just huge credit, really, that he's just come runner-up uh, alongside a, a, a great that is Lionel Messi, but fair play to the lads. And and going to a ne- little bit of news as well. Liverpool have been drawn up against Everton at home in the third round of the FA Cup. So everyone, let me know your thoughts on that. How far do you think Liverpool should start our young starting eleven anyway against the Ev in the third round of the FA Cup? Everyone, let me know your thoughts on tonight. Results from the Ballon d'Or, not the results that we would have liked, but I tell you what, we don't need reminders. And we know how how well and quality and how good our lads are anyway, really. That's a quick recap. Gino Alden finished 26th, Trent 19th, Bobby 17th, Alisson 7th, Saleh 5th, uh, Sergio Mane 4th and Virgil van Dijk 2nd. Runner-up to Lionel Messi anyway. What quality, fantastic players they are. But I tell you what, this Lionel Messi fella's not too bad, is he? But everyone, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. And we'll see you tomorrow for another episode. You'll never walk alone, that's that.